Hey there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, it's around 9.30 a.m. here. Uh, today I already did a list of winter fragrances. Check that out. Top 15 or yeah, top 15 this year's affordable budget fragrances uh, for the colder months. All right, check it out. They're still here laying next to me like <laughs> on my bed. So I decided to do this extra video for you. Uh, just share because you're human. Uh, sometimes not just fragrances only, you know, like not just commercial products or robots, you know, sometimes we just talk about stuff, you know. So I just want to share one or two words. It's not a fragrance review. You can absolutely skip the video. I do not mind at all. No problem. These are for my people, you know, like my brothers and sisters who follow me, who comment and then they join my group. Please do join Fragcom Bangladesh. Uh, that's my fragrance community uh, for Bangladesh page. But we have a lot more international movement going on. We recently hit 10K members, like 10,000 members. I'm like, so happy uh, it been i've been working since 2016 so if you count the years it's about six years uh, gonna be seven years soon uh, so when you work gradually and you see things like if you plant a tree from a seed it grows and that's what the community is to me for bangladesh you know i've seen it grow and uh, i do take pride when i say that you know i have i had a dream and that's like basically taking into you know like a big shape in many ways good bad many ways but i will talk about that a little bit fragrance community in Bangladesh, Asia, uh, overall situation since 2016, okay? And I want to talk about a little bit about uh, some of the things like uh, the unfairness in the world, one thing. And the third thing I want to talk about is uh, why we do fragrances, okay? It's common topic, same old, same old, like nothing new, okay? But from time to time, 10 to 15 minutes talk, let's see. So first of all, many of you who have been following for a long time, following me for a long time, I have changed over the years many ways. When I came out uh, first, like, you know, in my channel, uh, when I started doing videos, um, what I really did was 30 minutes reviews. You have seen those, like one fragrance, 30 minutes. And I really felt like I want to talk a lot, lot, lot. You know, I didn't really think of other people <laughs> when they had to go through it. And I used to watch videos like 25 minutes. Then I'm like, hmm, that's 25 minutes of my life, you know. <laughs> so I used to watch like 10 minutes, 15 minutes more, you know like 10, 15 minutes range videos, then it made sense to me that, you know, if you are talented as a reviewer, uh, if like, let's say some other reviewers, you can keep people, you know, mesmerized even for 30 minutes. It's like, look at Mark, you know, if he did a review, Diorum Intense or something, I would watch it for one hour. Quality, you know, just quality. So, uh, yeah, so thing is like, I kind of was very excited, kind of toned down a little bit. And then few other things I adjusted, but nowadays I try to give you broader picture like price versus longevity, what you get, should you be looking at it from my customer point of view, okay? So that's that. Uh, but, you know, I was talking about the fragrance community. Uh, over the years, a lot of things changed. Our winters, you know, 2016, 17 Bangladesh, we have mild cold weathers, but very foggy, you know, like winter used to be very cold in Bangladesh. Like it would go to something like 10, 8 degrees back in the days, like 90s. Uh, but nowadays due to climate change, you know, we are seeing some changes. So we don't get to really wear a heavy leather jacket, which I bought. Uh, and then, you know, but I still wait every year for this month. You know, I was very scared uh, due to Corona situation, COVID, that, you know, you do not know who's going to be here, who's not going to be. But nowadays it feels like the numbers have gone down a little bit, but it will be back. I know that. So if you're here, you know, in this world and if your parents, family, everybody's OK, you know, you should be thankful to God because you are still here and you can enjoy things in life. If you die, you know, you cannot be part of this world, right? So we, as Muslims, we believe there's afterlife, but we do not know what is going to be like, you know, heaven and hell. But I'm pretty sure I tell you one thing. Uh, if you actually are okay, physically well, you get to eat properly and you have everything, your family members good, say thanks to God every day you wake up, okay? Say your prayers. And uh, I think I'm religious in many ways and many ways I'm not, you know, but I believe in God and I thank him for every day as a blessing, okay? Uh, but I would like to also say my heartfelt sorry and condolences if you have lost a family member or someone close to you, okay? If you did, I'm really sorry and I'm, I feel your pain. I pray for you that you're going to be okay in time, all right? So next topic is the, what did I talk about? Okay, uh, winter, I was talking about winter. Every year winter comes, I get very excited because Bangladesh is a country hot and humid, like we have dust, pollution, noise. It's crazy. If you see our jams in, just Google Bangladesh jam, traffic jam on YouTube, you'll see we don't have any peace. You know, <laughs> we, if we drive, you're going to go 
basically crazy you want to be a serial killer okay because you go so crazy you know hours after hours you spend on the road but despite that winter time is so beautiful you know people cool down a little bit because the weather is nice they enjoy a cup of tea meet friends you know we i used to enjoy so much i used to go to shops like starling enterprises to go there drive up you know foggy weather enjoying the drive you know sniffing fragrances meeting people meetups so these things really make me happy so we have to find out a way to enjoy the game at times we feel ourselves that we are so stressed we have to be buying this we have a bucket list we have to buy this this you know i lost mental peace in a while uh, like for a while you know uh, because i went overboard i bought too many fragrances i was thinking like this that and then you know what's going to happen you know a bit worried you know i have some loans so finally i found that uh, balance you know now i'm doing a lot more other things you know so i suggest that enjoy other things as well apart from fragrance do not get so addicted to it that you spend everything behind it and you expect things to happen like people compliment you or your page would be selling a lot of stuff doesn't happen always if you have like a youtube channel you you monetize it but you can earn enough money so you'll feel disappointed i tell you one thing uh, if you do not love the game if you feel like people are not loving you enough or they're not giving you enough view or you're not selling enough and that makes you sad uh, don't do this fragrance game okay because you have to go through a lot of things you know uh, i was talking about unfairness you know a lot of good reviewers a lot of the great reviewers they don't get the mentions anymore i just noticed they're just getting lost in time a lot of new reviewers came full respect more power to them but people who actually did significant contribution to this community uh, the OG reviewers, first batch of reviewers, many of them quit because perhaps they got busy in their life or they got demotivated or did not have enough numbers. Okay. I keep talking about Chad, one of the best guys in the business. The Mark, I don't have to talk about him because he's a legend. He's a king. He's, a, he's an emperor. Okay. Uh, but he achieved everything in life. He has a collection that someone can die for. But uh, many reviewers, they did not get, they did not, their channel did not grow, but they keep doing quality work they work from the heart you know many people do not work from the heart many people work from cheap <laughs> motivations like view uh, generator what can be uh, like viral topic i just do five videos and i got like one million subscribers more power to them you know like maybe current trend people like that you know flashy things lies celebrities who are showing you fake uh, properties they're living a lavish lifestyle you go like wow rich kids of dubai you know but are they really happy? Uh, not many people have happiness, okay? That happiness is one thing that's missing. We are too smart. We are very, very smart nowadays, but we are not kind. We are not courteous. We are not uh, happy for others. So many of the reasons like respect, we don't have these things like new generations I notice, They are so smart. They are so advanced, small kids. They can do tab. They can do like they can play in tab. They can do tricks, right? I'm talking a little bit out of fragrances, but I have a point. These kids grow up, they're excellent, their IQ is so high, their, you know, intelligence is so good. But many places I see when they have crisis, they panic because they don't have that experience and they kind of like disrespect and they don't want to take into account like the older parents or older citizens or senior citizens. They have certain experience in life, right? So they don't care for them. They're like, those people are old. They don't know anything. We know everything, right? So if you feel that way, you're better than others, you know? you'll always feel, you'll always feel that at one point you are lost, okay? Because those people could give you one or two lessons that you could have learned that could make you safe from possible dangers or mistakes that could make. Uh, I tell you one thing, uh, I was talking about our community, Random Talk. Uh, 2016, I had a vision. I started off uh, my channel, had no intention, I mean, no idea what this is going to go. I came here in Bangladesh, 2016, and I met few people that time there were two or three groups in Bangladesh but they're within themselves like close group they never had a meetup nothing so I arranged the first meetup and then slowly people were interested in joining my group and then I opened a decan page people started supporting me then I could do my YouTube channel everything is in the open nothing to hide and then like a lot of unpleasant experience as well that a lot of sellers came and then they got established well known and people support them but in time many people betrayed you know so nowadays I have uh, sometimes I'm like kind of shocked to see that when I want to call people for a meetup, you know, I don't see many people who are nice. Okay. I don't, I don't think I can call many people as my friends. Anybody can be your friend, but what is a real friend? People who are loyal to you, people who are nice and they do, 
don't come to you for gaining something and they are they like you they respect you these things you know so lo all these qualities are not present in many people's lives they, when they see they cannot have anything to gain from you or they want to do a business you didn't let them or they you didn't let them use you they leave you okay so nowadays whoever a friend i have i think these are people i am i feel blessed even if i have five ten friends unlike other people who have hundreds i don't need hundreds of friends you know most of these friends are worse than any enemies okay because they arm you behind your back you know they talk behind you they take information from you and then they give you to somewhere else and they secretly you know they have their gangs and all so when you do have certain thing that you build uh, many people will stab you down okay this is what is reality not just in bangladesh overseas as well so you know it's unfair when i say it's unfair that is like let's say some people told me if you stayed in states or canada you'd get free bottles sponsorship everything because your channel is growing got the numbers you have done the work and you are uh, you are popular but then i tell you one thing you know if i was not in bangladesh perhaps i wouldn't be able to grow so much because as a foreigner perhaps i wouldn't be able to create an impact uh, in foreign countries there every country has this positive and negative but i like to say that you know despite a lot of negativity in bangladesh this is a country i'm very proud of of what people achieve the reason being yeah there are bad people there are definitely negative people which get me frustrated they are trolls my enemies who talk behind me but there are a lot of other people who are not in the main social media but they support me silently or they do their fragrance game seriously you know like they help they contribute to the community by many ways you know so people who are actually uh, building the society you know despite a lot of challenges here you know a lot of people who cheat you you know a lot of uh, corruption going on people are fighters okay so here uh, just apart from fragrance even from life if you talk about life people survive in a country like this that is massively uh, respectable okay so who deserves what i don't know you know but i really feel i told i remember one thing i was in live once from steven radlesons and uh, i'm just like talking you know uh, so he carlos were on uh, online like live on the channel and they were playing music so i was commenting i just started my new channel they didn't know me all that much okay but i commented like steven i wish there was a superhero movie you know like jeremy steven mark max 40 all these good looking guys you know all of them to me they are heroes they should feature like someone should be superman like steven could be superman uh, jeremy could be uh, tom cruise you know uh, this is 2016 I was talking about and then Stephen was like wow that's an interesting idea Stephen is one of the nicest guys you know I if I found anybody humble like one of them is Stephen um, and the guy I can think of Sebastian Zara such big celebrities but so down to earth and the thing is I'm so happy that Stephen got his house you know but I wanted to see Mark you know like my dream is Mark you know Jeremy got his house Mark uh, should come out with his own house Chad and people would give them awards you know i don't want that because people say hey you are the best reviewer i'm not i'm just learning i'm a learner i'm a student i am even if i get 1 million subs i will always say those reviewers are legend i'm nowhere near them this is what i have to tell you this is the truth uh, but this didn't happen you know perhaps uh, should have happened and that would actually have justice you know but uh, you know it doesn't happen i've been working for so long in bangladesh people who do not deserve anything they get easy access but you know they get all the limelights sometimes it's demotivating but then i realize no these people are compromising with their ethics and soul okay they have to give up their self respect some people can treat, treat them like crap and they have to take it because they're working with those big people they're getting money but they're not giving getting their uh, respect or freedom so i like to work with freedom okay and uh, i quit a job i used to work with the shop uh, i quit the job because I felt like, you know, now it's not being able to do independent work. And then you know, a lot of these other things, negative things that happen. But most importantly, you have to have freedom. You have to have the space where you can work honestly. If a company asks you to do uh, things that goes against your heart, you don't feel like doing it. Unfair things like, let's say they tell you, don't mention those other shops. Only mention your business, okay? Tell the other shops are not good enough, you know. I cannot do it by heart because I know those other shops are as good, right? So just an example, but uh, many people will try to buy you off. Uh, don't 
sell your soul to the devil okay so those are the things i want to discuss today and uh, i feel sometimes unfair but then many ways god knows better okay and uh, as we're all here we should always see what you have rather than what you don't have okay and we should support each other i always get messages from my good brother gabe or many other brothers you know like uh, muzambil brother a few days back knocked me so all the love that i get no money can buy it all the respect and love i got money couldn't have bought it i don't have my channel monetized i wish i could but what i have in this world right now very happy very good happy with my collection and uh, i'm trying to control my addiction so yeah it's difficult at times you know because we are a little bit weak as human beings but as long as we are here we should try to be positive okay so always think of uh, positive work if you want to start a channel think of doing contribution to the society don't think of i did not make money i did not get views and i shouldn't do this if you do that you never had the love for it in the first place okay so love something otherwise it's a waste of your time have a nice day i will see you soon take care bye bye